today we're going to be learning we're going to be exploring some life cycles we're going to explore this this is a seed of a bean look at this little seed how does a tiny seed like this become a leafy plant all right so we're going to go through this book the book is called a bean's life cycle the author is written by mary r doon all right, you guys see the bean here? Remember the seed looks like this. How does this little seed become this right here? It is spring, friends. Broad bean seeds are planted in soil. With water and warm temperatures, the bean seeds begin to change. Remember the seed I show you guys? This is how it starts changing. Now look at this. Tiny white roots break out of the seed and reach down into the soil. Do you guys see this? Roots bring nutrients from the soil to the seed. The roots hold the plant in place. As you see here. And look at the seed sprouting. Soon a bean shoots sprouts. It pops through the soil and becomes the stem. Do you guys see the stem? Remember when you draw a flower, tiny leaves on the stem starts to grow and then the leaves begin to open. And roots take in water from the roots take in water from the soil. The stems carry water to the leaves and leaves use water, air and sunlight to make food for the plant. All right, now we're gonna read a little bit about flowers. Remember, we all planted some flowers. Flower plants. Flower buds appear at the bottom of the leaves. You see this? These black and white flowers have pollen. They also have a sweet juice called nectar. Now who remembers? Who comes and sits on these nectars? If you get bumblebees, you are correct, friends. A bee lands on a flower to sip nectar. The bee has pollen on it from a different flower. The pollen will make beans grow. Look at these hanging pods. Bean pods grow and the flowers begin to die. The pods are lumpy and thick. They protect the seeds inside. Do you guys see here? These are really thick. And what do they protect inside here? The seeds inside. Look at this, friends. Bean plants have about 12 bean pods. Each pod will have three to eight seeds. Sun pods are picked to eat. Other pods dry out and pop open. Their seeds fall out, and these seeds may become new plants in spring. Not all the seeds stay in the pods.